Welcome back to our richest YouTube channel. In today's class, we'll be learning how to make this beautiful waterfall jacket. It's a waterfall jacket and doesn't require any sewing, so it's very beginner friendly and simple to make and also stylish. You can either decide to drop it down like this, you can choose to style it with a bit. I just gathered this with the rope. It's very beautiful, and this is what it looks like on the back. If this is all you like to learn, kindly stay tuned to the end of this tutorial. So to make this waterfall jacket, like I said earlier, it is very very simple and beginner friendly. I'm working with this two yards of fabric. You can do more if you want, but two yards is fine for me. And then I'm going to be folding these two yards into two. I'm just going to basically fold this like I'm folding a 360 degree flare. So I'll fold it into two first. And then I'm going to fold it into four again. So you can see what I'm doing. Now this fabric is folded into four. And then I'm going to take my measurements now. So on this part, I have... Because the fabric is actually a 16 inches length fabric. So on this side now, I have around... Around 29 and a half to 30 inches. And then on the other side, which is here, I have around 30, 36 inches. Remember, I said it's two yards. So in order for me to be able to use all my fabric, I'm going to be measuring it. I'm going to be taking the flare measurements in a way that it's going to be narrowing to the 30 inches. What I mean by this is this. Remember, I have 36 inches here. So from here, I'll take my measurements. From here, I'll take my measurements of 36 inches okay so i've already this with the pin so that i can move it around so this is what i was saying remember i said i have around 36 inches here. so from the apex point here which is the origin i'm going to be measuring 36 inches and then from there i'll reduce it to around 35 remember i'm taking it to meet 30 inches then from there again i'll reduce it to 34 so from there, I'll reduce it to 33. If you have an even fabric, like if you have a fabric that, or if you want to use maybe 30 inches, if 30 inches is fine for you, you can use it. I'll reduce to 33, I'll reduce to 32, till I get to where I have my 30. So if you want it to feel like this, it's fine. But if you want us to use 30 inches round, which is easier, we just take our table from the apex point here and then we'll measure our 30 inches round okay whichever one is fine for you so this is okay with me now i'm just going to be connecting them together like i'm connecting a flare and then i'm going to use my scissors to cut this out so i'll use my scissors now and then cut out this flare that i have So I have this layer cut out and I'm just going to remove my pins so that I can open it up. So after removing my pins, on the fold point here, remember this folded point, I'm just going to open it so that I'll have like a half circle. I hope you understand that. Let me explain this using a paper. So I've cut out the flare like this now. So what I was saying is after cutting out your flare like this, you will now open it out like a, a semi-circle like this, but the fabric is quite big. That's why we cannot see it. So after opening it up now, the next thing is for me to take my measurement. So now depending on the back, because it's going to be falling, it's, all, it's going to be having like a collar falling to the back. So depending on the length that you want for your collar, from this open point here, you're going to be measuring that length. So let's say because this is a miniature, I'm using around 6 inches. I'll measure it like 6 inches. So this 6 inches is going to be falling behind my neckline. So from that point now, from the fall, the one that is going to fall back, it is on that point that I'm going to take my shoulder measurement. So that's your back, divided by 2. So let's say my shoulder is 14 inches, divided by 2 is going to give me 7 inches. So I'm going to be taking that measurement here. Okay, so this is my back neckline. And then on that point, I'm going to be taking the armhole measurement. So that is what I'm going to be doing now. 
Okay, so we're now fabric now, then I'll be measuring my color first. So I want it to fall back by you can do 10 inches, you can do 20, depending on how low you want it. So I think I'll be going with maybe 15 inches or let's say 18 inches. Okay, so if I take this as 18 inches, the rest that I have here is going to be the length of my jacket. So now, or let's say 15 inches, I think 15 inches is fine. I don't want it too much. So there I'm going to be ruling that to have a straight line because that is where I'm going to be measuring my shoulder neckline. So then now my shoulder is eight inches, 16 inches divided by 2 is going to give me 8 inches. So I'll take my tape through now and then I'm going to measure 8 inches like this. So after measuring my 8 inches, I'll note it here. And then on that point, I'll measure my armhole measurement. So the armhole I'm working with is 18 is. 16 inches also so 16 inches divided by 2 is going to give me 8 inches but i'm not going to be measuring 8 inches exactly because i don't want the hand hole to be too wide so i can do seven and a half or seven inches so i'm doing seven and a half which is fine so i'll measure my eight inches here also so that i can have a straight line so i have this straight line now for my hand hole now i'm going to be taking my Ham hole midpoint, okay. So that is the middle of the ham hole line, which is here. On that midpoint, I'm going to be going outwards by let's say two inches or one and a half, two inches here, and then on the other side, I'll go out by two inches also. Then I'm going to be for connecting it like this to form like a small circle, okay. So this is going to be my arm hole and that is all the measurements you need to do there. So after doing this now, I'm just going to be cutting out this arm hole and once I cut it out, our waterfall jacket is ready. So what I did is this on my... So I'm going to get a marker. So I just ruled here. Remember from here to here is my collar and then I ruled this like this. So here I'm going to be taking my back measurements. So I'll take my paper and take my back measurement, which is here. Then on my back point, I'll take my arm hole measurement, which is here. So I'll make my arm hole into a straight line. And then I'll get the midpoint of that line. Okay, so after taking my midpoint, from this point, I went out by 2 inches here, 2 inches here. And then I connected it like this. Okay, from my starting point to the two inches and then back to the end point of the ham hole and did the same on the other side. So now I'm going to be cutting out this circle and we are through with our waterfall jacket. That is all you need to do. So now to cut this out, I'm just going to pinch it in the middle and cut. And then from that hole, I'm going to use it to cut around the circle like that. Okay, so that is how I'm going to be cutting this. So I'll just cut it in bits till I cut out everything. So I cut out one side. Now I'm going to be cutting out the lower part also. So you can hold it with a pin if your fabric is shifting like mine. And now that I've cut it, the next thing is for you to neatly finish this. So these rough edges here now. You will take it to the machine now and serge it. If you have a serger or you turn it with a bias. Or you can also add a sleeve to it. Remember this is your ankle. If you want, you can cut out a sleeve and add to this part. And then on this outside edge also, you serge it so that it can be neatly finished. So now this is what we have when we open it. This is where your hand goes through. Okay, Your short collar, you can see it. This is, this is where your hand hole goes through. This here that is dropping is the collar and this is the full length of the jacket. So I'll take it to the money pen so that we'll see what this looks like. So this is our waterfall jacket and as you can see, you just need to either hold it with a belt or just let it drop down. It's very simple to make and this is what it looks like on the back. Okay, so this is the back and you can see our short collar that we have at the back neckline here. You can use the scuba fabric for this as you won't need to 
turn it or you just need to use your pinking shear scissors to cut it and it will be really nice i hope you enjoyed this tutorial if you enjoyed this let us know in the comment section like comment and subscribe i can also drop it down like this like i said it doesn't have to be tied and when you drop it down this is what it looks like and the back looks like this it's a very simple tutorial to make and i'll see you in the next one bye